So what I want to talk about now is I want to give you the continuum. I want to give you the frame to understand parent-child relationships and where these different pieces fall on it. Remember I said this is totally natural. Relationships with children and their parents are naturally you fall into the desire to want to know your parent, to be known by your parent. Right? But there's a continuum, and uh, Kelly and Johnson, which are two great researchers, very important and big in our field, did some fabulous work and research around parent-child relationships. And they are the ones that kind of reformulated, I won't get into whole, alienation was first used by Gardner, a certain psychologist, but a lot of his stuff was actually a bit discredited. He had some really good points he made, he didn't have any really good research to back it up, frankly, and a lot of it was just based on his clients and what he was seeing. But um, Joan Kelly came in and really reformulated things and very well respected psychologist and really looked at this issue and from a new frame. And um, so what we have is a continuum, right? We have a balanced relationship where children will have a positive relationship and contact with both parents. And that can happen. That doesn't matter if you've got a 50-50 schedule or a 60-40 schedule, even sometimes a 20 80 schedule. It, the schedule doesn't necessarily determine the attachment, although it can certainly contribute. There's, but I'm saying it doesn't. You, you can have a parent that you don't see 50% of the time and you have a great relationship with. It's about having the balance and would that child report those relationships as positive, right? So, uh, and do they have contact? Is there any resistance or do they have contact with those parents? Now, an affinity, right, is when a, you prefer one parent but you have contact with both. So you have an affinity for a parent. You might be, it might be gender-based, it might be interest-based, it might be, you know, that my daughter's like me in a lot of ways, right? Or it might be that she like, loves skiing like her dad does, right? You know, and the neat and interesting thing about affinity that we really have to understand, and this is where when we come into, when children are going back and forth between parents, we all know the story where, you know, it's like, oh my God, she gets so upset every time she has to go to her dad's, and then the dad's saying, oh my God, she gets up so upset every time she has to leave and go back to her mom's, right? That actually is an indicator of, an, of a healthy attachment, right? It's upsetting and hard to leave somebody that you love and desire to have time with. So it's not a bad thing. It's not the end of the world if you actually feel some stress in the, in the transition. We can expect that. There's ways to help kids with that, but it certainly doesn't indicate an insecure uh, relationship. But there will be times in life where you have an affinity for one parent and it changes, right? Like when uh, my daughter was 13, okay, I started out, she's always, she's a lot like me. She even looks kind of like me and people are like, oh, you and Bronwyn are so much alike. And then, you know, when I was 13, you couldn't say anything worse to her that she was like her mother, <laughs> right? It was just like, oh my God, right? And it was just terrible. I was kind of like, hey, I'm this kind of cool child therapist. People seem to like me and my old daughter is like, you know, just don't, you know, I don't want you to drop me at the mall anywhere close where anybody can see us, right? <laughs> and I was like, what the hell happened? What did I do wrong? I'm supposed to be teaching people about this. Right, watch out, it's coming on, it's coming. Her daughter's still in the, I love my mom so much stage, right? You know, and she does have a bit of an affinity for you, I think. Right, but then, you know, it changed, right? And, and it started to, honestly, it changed quite a bit around the time she was like 17, 18. Now my husband's like, oh my God, I'm chopped liver. Like, she's just like, mom, can we do this? And in fact, it's actually getting slightly annoying to me. I was trying to have some quiet time. My 19 year old daughter is just like, mom, I really love spending time with you. Why don't we watch this the show and watch this with me and come and let's make a bit dinner. And I was like, oh my God, like, no way. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, that's not good either. Right? <laughs> change things change and it's natural and a child should kind of have an affinity flow through their life right but they might have something they always feel maybe I come to dad you know because I want to go do some adventure some things maybe I come to mom because I want to just have a, a quiet space and time right and so that's healthy and good that's not a problem they have contact it flows you know when you have that alliance now do you see how our you see where we're starting to go now? We've got balance, we've got affinity. Now we've got an alliance forming here, right? Where you prefer one parent. You're definitely getting clearer and clearer that, okay, this is my favorite parent. This is the parent I prefer. Mom is the best, dad is the best, right? And then you have this ambivalence towards the other one where they're not, you know, like there's some, some things you like about them, but some things you don't like about them, right? But your alliance is to that other parent. And that's where it can tip into um, some of the other pieces, 
right, where we've got estrangement and alienation.